Welcome back to the video everyone, my name is Fabio, and for today I thought we could look at how to rig an eyeball in Toon Boom Harmony Premium. Lately I've been building these rigs for a client, for a freelance project, and I really was looking, really struggling with how to build these eyes. I'm not a, a character rigger by any means, so I found a pretty simple way that seems to work well, and I wanted to show you guys what it was. So. I have my eyeball here. Uh, just a note, this is Toon Boom Harmony Premium, so you need the node view for this. We have our eyeball here. This is a drawing, so see how it's purple, and our pupil in the middle. So these things on top are just pegs, which means I can move it around without changing the actual drawing. So I need to go up to my node library and I need to get what's called a cutter. So I click drag, drag it right into my node view, like this. And I want my eyeball to cut my pupil. So what I'll do is I'll put my cutter right underneath, press Alt, let go. Now I need to connect this to that. And watch what happens. Boom. It disappears. So that's not really what I want. So I'll go in here. I'll press invert. And now if you watch, when I smooth it, it cuts the pupil. Pretty cool, right? But there's still a problem. If we zoom in, see how it cuts the blue right to the edge? I want a little bit of the black line to show. I struggled so much to find a way to make this work. So here's an easy solution that I found. It works really quick and you don't really need to know too much. So what I found was, if you go and type in color override, which is this, search that in the node view and drag it in. What you gotta do is drag it right in here. So connect it to this, the, the rightmost one, and it goes into this, right? My eyeball, what's being cut, that's what I'm overriding. This brings up the color override properties. And there's a lot to look at, but it's really not that uh, complicated. So up here, you're just gonna choose the color palette that you're using. And usually with characters, you make a, a separate color palette, right? So in this case, I have my eye palette, right? And then you go down here to select the actual color. So if you're making a character, you want to have different colors for every single part of the body. For this one, I used the white. That was the color that I used for this, the, the fill of the eye. If you were making your own character, you'd probably label this like eye white and use that color. So now we have our colors, we have our color palette. Let's go here, individual color overrides, don't worry about that. Render selected colors only. That's what you want drop down menu, render selected colors. See how that disappears? Let's select our white, press this, click this, and then close it. So now if we look, see how there's a black line that shows? Right, and that's a quick fix. So now we have a working eye that I can move all the way around and you'll see the difference. If I get rid of this color override, see how the blue came back? So well, this was just a quick tip that I, that I just saw and it made my life rigging eyes a whole lot easier because it's a quick fix and you don't really need to know too much about what's going on. All you gotta make sure is that you choose your color palettes and you label your colors correctly or else you might have some problems. So thank you everyone for watching. I just, I wanted to share this with you. I remember this was just something that worked for me. I don't know the best ways to rig a character. There's probably an easier way to do this. So if anyone knows um, a better way, feel free to comment below. Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Okay. So thanks again. I'll see everybody in the next video.